Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we are back in We Happy Few and we have to find out what's wrong with our little potato here in the cot. Um, yeah. Cod liver oil. Yes, Dr. Verloc does have some. But he's pretty pissed off at Mummy right now. Why? But I'll die if I don't get cod liver oil. All right, all right. I'll go and see him. Maybe he's calmed down. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. He's a bit of a knob. Christ, I haven't been to Hayworth Lab since I started showing. This is not going to be fun. No, it's not. It's not indeed. If you want to get caught up, babies aren't meant to be about. No one's meant to get pregnant. Um, where am I going? It's that way. How far away? Oh, well, it's not that far. I say not that far. Yeah, did the ship the measles? I can't remember. Let's have a quick look. Oh, I've got loads of skill points. What's going on here? All right. You're from crafting drugs. I, I haven't crafted any drugs. <laughs> I know I should be, but I haven't. Uh, more of a distraction. Get the best prices. Get the, yeah, I feel I need to buy things. Craft. Oh, I can't read. Really. Quickly. I think we want to go for tireless, to be honest. Can we afford that? I can. Alright, anyway, back to what I was doing. Where's the quest? There it is. Uh, it was just a rat to sleep, rat the wrong place, blah, 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 blah. Measles. Porto. Right, so our baby's going to die if we don't get cod liver oil. Hello, fellas. Alright, so. Yes, Dr. Verloc, if we don't, if you remember correctly from the first part with Arthur, he was the one who was running the labs. He was in a black suit. A bit of a dickhead. Teleported away Is somehow. It, now it comes on so fast. Oh crap. Curfew. Um, uh, I have to get in and out. Have to, oh, curfew. Curfew is a problem. It's all right. I'm going home. Don't worry. Alright, no negative effects, yeah. Are they going to let us in or do I, am I going to have to find some sort of key? I don't want to have to find some sort of key. As much as I like this game, I've mentioned before, it, this bridge, look at it, unnecessarily long. <laughs> Very foreboding, I'll give it that. Yeah, we broke into here as after. Let's have a look. Hello, it's Sally. Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right, oh ma'am. I'll get the door for you. Ah, that was easier than Arthur. We're in. Fellas. Miss Boyle, what a nice surprise. We haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, ma'am, you brighten our day. Like, uh... Like... Like Blackberry Joy. What would we do without our Blackberry Joy? And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say, Dr. Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. Yes. And he nurses a broken heart. Hell hath no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce your presence? P please. Dr. Verloc, sir? I said no interruption. Dr. Verloc, sir, there is a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. You place me in a quandary, sir, as you have expressly forbidden me to speak her name on any account. Sally. No, oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Oh, no? I teach you everything I know. You steal my notes. Those are my notes, Doctor. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close. So close to cracking the isometric structure of the new molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your Blackberry. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Easy, Tiger. Sergeant, arrest her. She's a thief. Don't let her get away. 
I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. Goody fuck, goody fuck. Oh. Where do I get Cutler Royal now? Oh. Fine. Wait. Arthur. He was always so good at finding things. If he can survive the Garden District... He was so mad, but... He could never stay mad at me for long. Not after he told me off. Uh, Alright, it was this way, wasn't it? I don't want to run into that giant robot, so let's go this way. Yeah, so we do know from Arthur's that he goes to get the Condit Royal for us. We do know that. No, I want to go home. I need a nappy change. Um, Where am I? Alright, straight down here. Turn right. Second right. Second right. I just hope I haven't got to hunt down an item again. How many rights have I passed? <laughs> Aha, there we go. Down here. No. <laughs> Damn it. Is that a joy detector though? It is, so I need to go this way. Alright. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. My house is around here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Get it. Alright, I need to craft a nappy. Crafting. I need to thirst. Okay. Uh crafting. Nappy. There we go. I've got plenty of duct tape after the hunt from the last time. Uh, ah! Alright, I don't know if I've got any filters, but we'll try it. Right, don't drink the joy this time. There we go. Up, get up the stairs, Sally. There we go. Right, so. Off with the wet. On with the dry. It's, it's a nice mechanic. You have to look after a baby. It's showing some sort of maternal thing. But we do leave her alone a very long time. Alright. When I was after, though, I met her here. Hmm. Oh, no, curfew. We need sleep. Uh, <laughs> go to bed. Uh, we will sleep until the morning. Nine o'clock should do. I need a drink, though. Uh, there we go. Alright. Alright. Can I fast travel there, is the question. Oh, I just need to get there, and there is a fast travel access hatch there. Let's go. Just the creepy These one. tracks would be so much nicer with trains. Correct. Run. I oh, changed my outfit. Um. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Clothes. What's that? Yeah, we'll wear that. <laughs> Why not? Right. Oh, it's just over there. Okay. I don't remember this. This didn't happen in Arthur's game. I'm sorry. For the past 14 years, I've sort of thought about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But being a complete jealous ass about the general was not really part of the plan. Sir Robert's a client. Oh, good. I, I mean... <laughs> I don't go around having sex with all my clients. Make sure you do, Sally. No. Uh, of course not. I just... I could ask him. He likes to feel important. Even after all those awful things I said? We used to be Arthur and Sally. The two musketeers. Remember? 
Did you really come here just to offer me a letter of transit? Or did you want something? I thought we could help each other. Of course you wanted something. All right. What do you want? I used to know I could trust you about anything. Of course you can trust me. What is it you want? It's going to sound stupid, but... A bottle of cod liver oil. A bottle of cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with? What if I told you it was sort of a souvenir? Why on earth would you want to remember your mum? I don't know. I keep hoping I'll remember something that'll make it all better. Like maybe it was an accident and she didn't mean to poison the soup. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Look, if it's too much to ask... I suppose it would be too much to expect. Don't worry, Arthur. I will ask my friend the General for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Look. It's not exactly a souvenir. Things have got... a little more complicated than usual. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. The texture on his suit's pretty cool. I wanted to die, you know. I thought about it. But I couldn't. Not after... After what your mum did. What my mum did. <sighs> Look, I'll get it for you. The cod liver oil. I missed you so. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll, I'll get you that letter. I have to go. I'm sorry. I really, really... It just, I'll just came out. Go. Get you that bottle. Meet you back here. Sometime. Let you know when I've got it. I guess I've got to see the general now. Won't that be fun? Yep. <sighs> right, so where's that? <laughs> Is it back here? Where am I going? Where the hell am I going? Oh, it's here. Ah. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Is it going to be that army camp of retired soldiers? Perhaps. Let's see when I get there. Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice oh. to see you, Miss Boyle. Hello. Hello, boys. Keeping us safe. Next war can't come soon enough, if you ask me, Miss. Hope the Jerry's come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerry's know you miss them. I recognise Sally's voice, I just can't place it. So it's very really different. don't appreciate the general, because all you know is the war. What if they but never come I, I hope the general's not in one of his old poor me moves. It's such a chore dragging him out of them. If he's cheery, I bet he'll give me the letter of transit without a blink. I doubt it. I Hello? very much doubt it. Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle, we weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French, ma'am. I told you to close it. Uh, no, Sergeant. Excuse my French. Didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys, boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, whilst I accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office. Thank you. Miss Boyle! Oh, won't he be happy to see you? He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know boats. Sally! Suppose you drift away, sir. How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Get out. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. He's got a point. I realise you must be out of rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, 
Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours, my dear. Oh, uh, he's going to be uncomfortably close. Yeah. <laughs> it's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing, last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Oh. Sally's got a baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Oh, Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. <laughs> you can lie with the truth. Your cruel's a toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. Oh. Who knows what he'd do to a baby. Good point. You might have told me. It's not your bloody baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but... They made everyone so unhappy. Oh. Yeah. Can... can you get us out? I might be able to get her out, if I'm very clever, but no, I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I have a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I'd have thought you'd be grateful. Ow. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. Yeah, we don't like the glass you cells. You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? <laughs> a girl like you never is. <laughs> Steady on. I'll hit you again. I think you know the way out. Get a letter. Get a letter. Did you get the letter? <laughs> All right. I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the cod liver oil. Oh, I hope he sent me something on the blower. Wait. If the general's got the boat in the boathouse, if I can get it working... So Maybe I can get her. us out of here. Visit the boathouse. I wish I could have just got it for Arthur for old time's sake. But Gwen needs that cod liver oil. Any soldier interested in planning next year's victory garden should talk to Corporal Elstree at I can't get in. I don't get in. Um. How did I get in with Arthur? Oh, it was around the other side, wasn't it? We'll try it this way first. Bog. Wolf! Wolf! Who said that? This is unnecessarily intense. All right, let's go around the edge. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh. It is here. The general's Bristol pilot. Oh my god, if I could steal a boat. But does it work? I'm guessing no. My eyesight isn't that bad. It is. Miss Boyle, how lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. Don't leak quite as much anymore. 
Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, he forgets starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats, and you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently, that makes me the General's expert on boats. Close enough. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is uh, that what sort of boat it is? Did about 20 leagues, but yeah, it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for lake patrols. We tried to patch up a Q-boat during the occupation, but we couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid, maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. You know Dr. Faraday? Oh, God, not Faraday. If the likes of me, Aster, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right, but don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the General be surprised? Yes. Yes, he will. He will be very surprised. <laughs> Well, Gwen, uh, we may just make it out of here alive after all. I just need to get Dr. Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. <laughs> I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. Oh, and I guess I'll need to steal the General's key to the boat. All right. <laughs> first things first. Who can tell me about boats? Hmm. Hmm. Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walked the rail tunnels all the way back to Maiden Home. I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Never hurts to have an escape hatch. <laughs> Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that? Oh, it's not that far away. Where is that? It's on the other side of the base. Can we go round? <clears throat> I'm going to say no, <laughs> but we'll try. This is Arthur. <laughs> Get over the thing, guys. Sorry. Aha. Uh -huh. Who drinks that much whiskey? What? <laughs> Lavatory. really like finding syringes in a toilet. I don't think that's the most hygienic option, but then again, it is used to stab people. Right. There. Is he... Oh, that crazy old pirate. He must know about boats. He can't be hard to find. He's always at the pub. Talk to the barmaid. Which barmaid are we talking about? Ah, back at home. Right, let's get changed. Go feed Gwen. That's one. Where shall we wander today? Went to go and feed Gwen. I'm on my way. Please tell me I've got a filter. Oh crap. 
Komt veel te... Why don't we get a water filter problem? Six and a half hours later. We managed to get hold of a, a metal pipe. A metal tube, so let's make a couple. Now we have some water filters. Shut the door. Shut the... What are the barn, Sally? Dear Lord. Right. Right. Filter water. Crafting, baby milk. Well, I've just done that. Oh. <laughs> right, baby milk. Alright, so we need to go and talk to a barmaid to speak to some sort of crazy pirate fella. Yeah, on the, uh, on the uh, I wonder if it would be bad to give you gin when your teeth comes in. Yes, it would be bad. That's My mum always parenting. said she knew I'd go wrong because of the way I cried for gin when I was a baby. Mm. Yes, darling. Mummy was precocious. <laughs> That's my word for it. So, Someday, when you have teeth, you'll be able to eat mummy's cooking. I know what you're thinking, but I'm a very good cook. Though my mum complained I never followed a recipe. No. I was always inventing my own. All right. I did blow up one cake. I never heard the end of it, did I? How did you blow up a cake? Well, you and I will cook up such lovely meals when we're in the countryside. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, we need to go talk to a barmaid about some sort of pirate captain and then... Sus I suspect we have to go and talk to Dr. Faraday about building a new engine. That'll be fun. She's crazy. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. If you are enjoying We Happy Few, please leave a like and comment down below. And subscribe if you haven't done so already and you feel that way inclined. And we will return to Wellington Wells another time, but I will see you in the next video.